What's up, Dan Blewett here, and today I've got another awesome book review. This one is The Code of the Samurai. It is not super thick, so don't be deterred. Uh, and this is a book I read in college, and it is literally what it sounds like. This is a code of conduct written for samurai warriors hundreds and hundreds of years ago. So, especially if you're a coach and you're trying to instill good values in your players, you're trying to get them to understand um, why we hold some of the principles dear that we do. Like, why should you respect your opponents? Why should you honor your parents? Why should you uh, dress a certain way? Why does professionalism matter in sports as an athlete? Um, it's a good question. Like, why don't we just do whatever we want to do? Who says we should act a certain way? Well, obviously there's codes of conduct. There's books like this one that are very, very old. And this is just a little handbook that samurai were expected to live by. It covers lots of different topics. Um, there's one here on fame. So, which basically says, uh, if you're gonna die, it's gonna feel the same, you know, losing your head, uh, whether you die a coward or whether you die a hero. So, might as well go down a hero. That's kind of what it says. There's lots of interesting stuff in here though. There's about guardianship, there's about what to do when you're facing your death, how to approach it um, so that you're respected, so you don't have this whole body of work and then go down as a coward. There's about service, about honoring your parents, um, about discretion, about your facial expressions. Um, there's all sorts of stuff, how to treat your relatives, how to conduct yourself with courtesy and respect to other warriors, uh, to your overlords, all these different things, right and wrong. It's really just a, a quick little book of principles and I find it really interesting and it's definitely valuable as something that a team could study together. Um, you know, you could all sit around and have a powwow, coach could go over, all right, we're gonna go over fame and how to die gracefully today. So it's kind of fun. Uh, it's translated obviously into very actually plain English, so it's easy to read unlike some uh, philosophy books I've read. But this is a really cool, interesting little thing. It connects us with our history. Um, and again, the samurai warriors were incredibly powerful people. They're incredibly disciplined and they paved the way for much of the mental training that European athletes have done for also for decades and centuries. And American athletes are just kind of getting, it's becoming more of a common practice now, but it's still very overlooked, which is why I'm doing these book reviews. So it's often unclear where we should go for guidance, but if you're looking for mental training for baseball, for softball, mental training for any sport, uh, there's a bunch of really good books by some American sports psychologists, but there's also lots of good stuff like this that are historical that were used by people in combat when your mental training really mattered because it was the difference between being afraid in a battle and probably getting tense and then not being able to really, um, what's the word here, protect yourself um, versus being really fluid and being able to defend yourself against the sword and all that crazy stuff you see in movies um, is probably somewhat true to life, right? So. When your mind is free and fluid and you're unafraid, you can just react and do all the crazy stuff and hopefully stay alive. And when we do that as athletes, it's the same thing. So we all know when we, we, we play our best, when we're calm, when we're confident, when we're moving through the motions that we practice so many times without thinking and tensing up and getting nervous about them, okay? So this is just another one of those little mental training books that can definitely help you. It can definitely help you with your conduct and understanding just what it's like to be a professional and the standards that you're supposed to hold yourself to, okay? So, The Code of the Warrior, uh, this one's translated by Thomas Cleary. Highly recommend it, again, it's a short read. Be great for teams, like a little study thing, and I hope you check it out, all right? Hope you enjoyed this book review, and I will see you in the next one.